Yep, so another window for the Cheeky Hut. And it's where the cooking and brewing area is going to be. Um, just in that corner there. So for that, we've got the glass, and the glass is uh, two and a half feet long by 18 inches wide, or just short of 18 inches wide, and just short of two and a half feet in length. So we measured that out, and then using a spirit level and a, uh, a square, put that on the inside of the, and then transferred, put um, drill holes through in the corners, as you can see, using a routing bit, or a spade bit, or whatever you want to call it. It's that kind of a bit. Yeah? And that's a 3 8 inch bit to make those holes on the outside. And then we um, met them up using... Oh, where's it gone now? Using a blue marker pen, basically. And what you do is you favour the outside edge of the mark that you make, which I've not done completely. But you want it to be fa you want it to be wider than the window, so that the window fits in quite snugly, but not too, um, you know, not too tight. So that because glass doesn't flex, does it? So you've got to have enough space really to fit the, the glass in there. Now I've just presented that up to it, and it does fit in. A little bit of a jiggery and pokery at the top because I think that bottom bit is slightly higher but it does go in and it does go in snugly so your next step then is to put your beading on the outside of it like we've done on these and that's the metric equivalent of two by one battening so I'm going to put that two by one battening which is here and create the frame for it on the outside. So that's our next step. Got some stuff here. And for that one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece across there, a piece down there, a piece down there, and a piece down there. Okay. Don't matter really, I don't think, how you do that, as long as they measure up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the side ones on first. And then, you've got to remember though that half of that width you'll need to create your lip. So when you put these on, you want the lip, so it's half on and half off this board. So then behind that you've got something to push your glass against when you've created your aperture and your um, and your closer really so the windows will close onto that from the back side and that'll be the next step so I'll put these ones on first and show you what I mean by that okay <coughs> excuse me so before we make our final commitment we check it for level at the top and that is level no, it doesn't quite look it, that's because of the pitch of the roof going up that way. It's a slopey roof, so it looks bigger, the, the gap, than it does there. I know, but it's level. So then what we need to do now is mark off that edge, and then cut that, and then we'll do the same thing at the bottom. But you see what I mean? We leave a half inch, uh, sorry, a... Uh, um, <coughs> half the width of one of these yeah so that you can form that lip all the way around so that's the only really tricky or slightly tricky part with this figuring that out and working that out okay yeah <coughs> so they're in and I'll show you from the inside what it looks like now as well so you've got your lip all the way around. That lip will then get filled with, it'll get filled with that stuff. 151 frame sealant. 
in brown just because I've got brown because it's a shed it don't really matter all right Ta -da! And those marks that are on the window they will clean out it's um, unfortunate really that I haven't got enough of the two by one to do a back plate for it because I could have put a, if I could have put a back plate on it I could have uh, rubbed those off uh, tonight and got it all nice but I don't have any more wood or I don't have enough wood to do that so I can't push against that to rub them off I don't want to do any um, silly pushing against because it'll push it back through uh, but I have cleaned it off from the inside as you'll see in a sec so yeah it's been cleaned off from the inside and I've got a view up my plot now so I'll be sat here having a look up there and all the brewing tackle is going to go here so we can have a cup of tea a slice of cake and uh, I could maybe even do a little bit of barbecuing in here with those disposable barbecues that I've got but that's us for tonight that's the window process as I say all I need to do is get the get more wood on the back here I'm going to see if we can get a light on is get some more wood on the back of it here to hold it in place but the um, the frame sealant will keep it in place temporarily once that goes off, which doesn't take very long, it only takes about an hour to go off. Uh, once that goes off, that'll grip it tightly to that. So the winds, unless the real hurricane strength winds, are not going to shift that. But there will be boarding, or sorry, battening, going on the back of this as well. So it's double fixed, if you like. And then, um, yeah. In fact, let's have a little sit down. Obviously, this muck and detritus on the little shelf I put in yesterday but we'll be sitting here looking out there and we can look that way as well and have a look out there these windows need cleaning as well promise I'll clean it all up nicely for you next for next time um, but yeah and that what that window seal is perfectly fine there's no problem with the windows seal on that that's a double glazed one again that one's starting to bug me a little bit because the seal's gone on it. That might be getting replaced, that, for the aesthetics. <laughs> because we're all about the aesthetics here down on the little farmer's farm. So, yeah, it's Sunday the 14th, I think, or something like that. I think it's Sunday the 14th of October. And uh, yeah, we've had a nice day to get today. Again, we've been out with the boys. We've been up to um, Barsdale Woods. And then I came up here and put a window in. I've got a lot of panelling as well that I got off my creek. Oh, my old aching bones. Let's see if I can show you that. It's nearly six o'clock now, so I'm going to go off and get my tea in a minute. But uh, there's all this uh, hardboard, hardboard panelling which I'm going to be using inside the tiki hut because I've decided it's too dark in there with um, the red cedar paint that I used on the outside I also used it on the inside but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it a sort of a <coughs> magnolia or cream inside there so it's a lot brighter be a lot brighter inside the tiki hut kind of this colour you know a sort of creamy magnolia kind of a colour and these are already painted, so they'll only need touching up, really, once I get them installed. And, um, yeah, there's about about four to five, six foot panels there that I can use, and it'll save me buying them, you know. And uh, they're going to go up on the inside of that. So I've got to get some um, tack nails for that. Okay. Yeah, so the windows are in. Uh, have a good week. If I don't see you in the week, I'll see you next weekend. And um, Mick will be back then. We'll probably be cracking on with other crazy projects for you. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Have a lovely week. See you next time. And uh, keep growing with your head down. I'll leave you with the window.
See you later, boys and girls.